the House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer says he plans to invite President Biden to testify in his own impeachment probe. It comes on the heels of a high-stakes hearing where Democrats tried to turn the tables on Republicans. David Spent live at the Justice Department with the latest. Hi, David. Hi, Dana. Now it's President Biden's turn to come before the committee, though uh, those close to the committee on the Republican and Democratic side say they don't fully expect the president to actually come and sit and testify before Congress. However, Chairman James Comer wrote yesterday on X, in the coming days, I will invite President Joe Biden to the House Oversight Committee to provide his own testimony and explain why his family received tens of millions of dollars from foreign companies with his assistance. Hunter Biden was a no-show yesterday, his name in front of an empty chair in the hearing room, a hearing examining alleged influence peddling in Washington. Republican star witness yesterday, Tony Bobolinsky, the former Hunter Biden business associate who says that Joe Biden is the brand and the Biden family made its living off of influence peddling full stop. Here's Tony Bobolinsky on Chinese connections to the Bidens. They were willing to send him that $5 million because they viewed it as a bribe to the Biden family. They say it in their own communications. Democrats also focusing on former President Trump and his family businesses, including dealings with Saudi Arabian interests by son-in-law and former White House aide Jared Kushner. We all know the truth. Donald Trump is the quintessential influence peddler in chief. Today, Lev Parnas, a former Rudy Giuliani associate who spent months in prison, also spent months before that, looking into an alleged Biden corruption scandal in Ukraine. In nearly a year traveling the world and interviewing officials in different countries, I found precisely zero evidence of the Biden's corruption in Ukraine. No credible source has ever provided proof of criminal activity. Now, the overall impeachment probe, Republicans have expressed some concern about possibly getting it across the finish line on the House floor. This is privately to Fox News. However, Chairman James Comer says his investigation continues and he is by no means giving up. Dana. All right, Davis Bunn, thank you. The major network spent little to no time covering that hearing yesterday. ABC and CBS did not touch the story. On nightly news last night, NBC covered it for a whopping two minutes and five seconds. Politics and investigations reporter Sarah Bedford joins me now. So the Democrats said, there's nothing to see here. This is all a waste of time. And at least two of the three networks seem to agree with them. That's right. I think the mainstream media has sort of been complicit with the Democrats in moving the goalposts when it comes to this impeachment inquiry and to what Joe Biden is accused of doing while he was vice president, right? I mean, if you look at what came out in this hearing through the lens of the original question, did Joe Biden know about what his son and his brother were doing overseas mm -hmm. while he was vice president? And did he ever have contact with any of those foreign business partners? We know the answer to both of those questions is yes, when Joe Biden originally said no. There's a lot of evidence that Joe Biden lied to the American people when he was running for president and that he did play a relatively active role in his son's business in terms of engaging with the business partners. But what we heard in that hearing was not evidence of what Democrats and the media have now said the question should be was, was Joe Biden CEO of Hunter Biden Influence Peddling Inc.? Did he have a business card? Was his name on the business website? And if not, there's no evidence of wrongdoing. But if you get back to that original question, there's a lot of evidence of wrongdoing here. In fact, now that you bring it up, let's let's rewind the clock. This would be a call for number three here. This, this is what Biden said so many times over the past couple of years in this regard. Listen here. I don't know what he was doing. I did not know he was on the board of that company. I've never discussed my business or their business, my sons or daughters. I never discussed a single thing with my son about anything having to do with Ukraine. I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. I mean, if they never spoke about it, that would be familial compartmentalization. Phrase that I just term that I just coined <laughs> to the max. I mean, how can you not talk to your kid about what they're doing? That's right. But Joe Biden had said there was a real firewall between his vice president's office and what Hunter Biden was doing overseas. Except when they were on Air Force Two together. Right. Or <laughs> when business partners were also invited on Air Force Two, or when Joe Biden was at dinner with some of these. Maybe there's some firewalls we don't know about on that aircraft. Potentially, but I think what's really going on here is that Democrats have tried to sort of 
change the question of, of what is this impeachment inquiry even looking at? What is Joe Biden accused of? And there's some real logical pretzels that Democrats have tied themselves in to try to clear Joe Biden here. And then there's Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and the RICO statute. Watch this. What is, Our, uh, what is the crime, sir? You, you, Specifically. You, just, uh, wait, you, keep, uh, you asked me to answer the question. I answered the question. No. RICO, you're obviously not familiar with. Corruption Excuse statute. me, sir. Excuse Our, me, sir. Excuse me, sir. RICO is not a crime. It is a category. What I is the it's a category crime? of crimes. And as Dana was pointing out earlier, maybe when you enunciate every syllable in category, <laughs> then you have makes to be it, right. <laughs> then you got to be right. But yeah. That'd be great news for Donald Trump if Wouldn't RICO it? was not a crime yeah. in Georgia. Call Fonnie Wallace. Right, but I mean, look at look at what you know the the types of things that Democrats did think was was worth impeachment or a, or in, in, accusations of a crime. I mean, Donald Trump's server. Uh, before he was president, having a ping to like a Russian server was worthy of a scandal. But Joe Biden sitting down at dinner with the former mayor of Moscow at a business meeting and then companies affiliated with his son receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars is not evidence of wrongdoing. It's a total double standard here. Yeah, it really depends what side of the political fence you're living on, right? Right. That Always. determines your logic, apparently. <laughs> Sarah, thanks so much. Thank Dana? you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.